Well, that went off. So let me try it again so I don't get killed before I do. I want to show you this because this has to do with my, one of the mine, a couple of the mind control murders. Murphy Brothers Taxi, Falls Church, brought me back from up there from seven, uh, 9700 Lee Highway, Econo Lodge. Excuse me, it's not Howard Johnson, it's Econo Lodge. Okay, it's 83. He brought me back on 615, number 83, and that was his name. He brought me back to um, uh, Mountain Pass Road in Troutville, where I tended and lived on the Appalachian Trail, and I'm going to go into how that was. But the gentleman that took me up there, the taxi I got, was 61301, and that's where I paid him and the cab number. And he's the one that turned around uh, it, before we got to the Econo Lodge, and Anchorage Motel was still in business, 9865 Lee Highway, Fairfax. Now, I don't know if it's still in business now or not, but that's where, when I finished high school in 57, my class trip went to D.C., and that's where the class, uh, we stayed for a couple of nights uh, at the Anchorage. And it was still in business back then, which I thought was a long time for it to still be there. But uh, he brought me back down here, and there there were murders, just a uh, couple of them I'm going to mention. Uh, Alexis Murphy was one of them. She's a young girl from Livingston, Virginia, and uh, they found her car parked, uh, I believe. Well, they showed a picture of it. It was outside a, a theater, one of the big theaters, and either, I think it's in, um, not Lynchburg, I don't think it was, I think it's Charlottesville, but anyway, a man has been charged with it, and but they can't find her body. Now then, uh, they don't enter any of this into evidence, believe me. Now then, there was another, um, I mean, she's using the Murphy name, okay? Now then, there was uh, two more girls that were killed. Uh, there was Hannah Graham, he, she's British, young lady from England, and uh, she went to the uh, uh, University of Virginia in Charlottesville, and she was taken out and her body found out in the forest on the side of the road, and um, uh, Matthews, Jesse Matthews is a black man, and he was charged with it. And he was also charged with the murder of um, a doctor psychiatrist here, uh, Harrington, his daughter Morgan. And she went missing right after Carl Barton, a retired state trooper, and his wife Linda. Linda dropped me off at Affordable Corporate Suites and paid the security deposit, 150 And I paid all the rest of my rent and everything for 17 months of hell there, even though it looks appears to be a nice place to live. Anyway, there were murders that uh, happened after then, and one of them was a couple of weeks later, and that was State Trooper uh, Childs. His daughter, Heidi Childs, and a doctor's son, they were friends, uh, Metz, David Metzler, and they were students at Virginia Tech next door here, and their bodies were found out in the National Forest there. They had been rifle shot. And nothing, no one's ever been charged with that. Uh, so it's using the child, C-H-I-L-D-S, et cetera, et cetera, and go further. And I want to get this in real quick if I can on this video. The state trooper, Carl Barton, and I don't mean them any harm whatsoever. I'm just telling the truth. They even gave me the little slip that you put on mail that's got their address and all that in Galax. So, uh, and they told me I have an immune disorder. My immune system attacks itself, and it's not funny. It's horrible when I'm enclosed where it toxic fumes. It makes my immune system to uh, attack itself, and if I'm force-fed where I live or around them, where I can't get away from them, uh, then I'm in trouble. It causes um, arthritis, really. The inflammation is so bad. And it can affect your whole body, your heart, your uh, liver, your veins.